Today is January 13th. Today's quote is entitled, Committing Helps You Improve. Committing to another devotee can be a great impetus to improve ourselves. It is usually more effective to commit to someone else than to commit to ourselves. This is why having a coach or a friend we are accountable to is so effective. I was in Vrindavan uh, a few days ago and we gave a course on Vaishnava exchange. And so, of course, one of the exchanges with Vaishnavas is to reveal one's mind in confidence. And maybe it's something we don't do enough of. But Prabhupada talks about revealing one's mind in confidence. And one of the things that he often says is tell the other person your challenges, what's going on, what is, uh, what is the problem you're having, don't keep it inside of you. And, and so what I'm saying today in this quote is that one of, one of the things you can do in the mood of confidential exchange is to commit to that person that you're confidential with that you will do something or commit that you, you will give something up. Because what is an unfortunate reality is that we will tend, well maybe you could say it's fortunate, but we will tend to do something. Greater chance we will do it if we commit to another person as opposed to committing to ourselves. We don't necessarily take seriously our own commitments. But when we commit to another person we feel more responsible. So the idea of this quote is if you're having difficulty doing something and it's important to you and you want to, to maybe you don't want to vow to your spiritual master or vow to Krishna, maybe it's not on that level or maybe you don't want to make the vow because you're not sure you will follow it. But if you at least make a promise to another person that I, I want to commit to you that I will do this, that I'm going to get up every day at this time, or I'm going to finish chanting my prescribed number of rounds every day by this time, or I want to commit to read this amount of time every day, seven days a week. And if you want to add a little strength to that commitment, then you can ask the person you've committed to at the end of the day to call you and ask you, have you done what you've committed to? So let's say I commit to read Prabhupada's books for an hour every day, and I have a friend and I, I make this commitment to the friend I say, I want to commit to you that I'm going to read Prabhupada's books every day for an hour and I would like you to call me every evening at such and such a time and just ask me one question. Did you read for such and such a time from Srila Prabhupada's books today? And then I will answer you yes or no. So why would I do that? Because if I keep answering no every day, at some point something's going to happen or I'm going to make a stronger decision to read. I'm going to make a deeper commitment. And um, there are many stories like this where sometimes this went on for three months. Every day, no, I didn't read. No, I didn't read. No, I didn't read. And after three months, the person just got it. This is uh, ridiculous because this is something that I want to do. And another aspect of this mentality is just to understand that there are things which we want to do that environmentally or because of our conditioning are difficult to do. But that ultimately, for us to be successful in whatever it is we want to achieve, even if it's something material, what to speak of the spiritual, which is of course essentially important for us, if we want to achieve it at some point, in order to be able to do this, we're going to have to be committed to making it happen. We're going to have to give up something. We're going to have to give up some, some wrong mentality or some laziness or whatever it is that's blocking us from doing it. And we're just going to have to do it. So, you know, that's the challenge. And if we don't do that, we tend to be pushed away from what we really want to do. And then we live a life which is not on the level we want it to be. We're not satisfied with ourselves. So it's important to understand this because that empowers commitment. If we, if we realize the pain of not committing is greater than the pain of doing what we have to do to commit, 
You know, it, it is sometimes said you have to pay a, a big price to achieve your goals, but you have to pay a bigger price to fail. In other words, you have to pay the price of living with that reality that I didn't achieve what was important to me. And just like if we don't chant rounds well, then after we finish our rounds, we live with the reality that we more or less failed ourselves and failed our spiritual master. And um, that's the price we're paying. And we may think, well, it's a bigger, it's a big price to pay to be focused, to be dedicated, to be in a prayerful mood while we chant. But if we fail to do that, we also pay a price, which I believe is bigger, the price of failure. You have to pay for success, but you also have to pay for failure. So it's important to know that, that, that our life is a challenge in either doing what we intend to do, what we focus on, what we deemed to be essentially important for us, or being pulled by our mind and senses, by the modes of nature, away from that. That's the challenge. So it's important to know that we won't be happy unless we can commit to what we really want to do. So this is just, just a, an example of, of a way, a technique you can use if something's really important and you're finding difficulty committing. Commit to a friend and then ask them to follow up on you.